Mozart Duke. Yeah, I'm kind of in a bind. I need to talk to Nance Freely. Excuse me, Miss Freely. Yeah. Arthur Duke is on the line. He says it's an emergency. What is it, Puke? I'm extremely busy. Well, I'm here in Yosemite. Did you sign that loaf kid before Schuster Records got to him? Well, not exactly. You see, my car broke down. I'm still about 50 miles from Jasperville. Spare me the details, you stupid fucking piece of shit. Did I not explain to you how important it was to sign that little fucker to my company? Well, yes. Was I not clear on the fact that he was being pursued by our competitors? Yes, you were. Did you not say to me that you would not let me down? That you would bring back that prize lamb? That you would personally guarantee that he would sign a contract with us? Yes, I said all those things. And please don't worry, I'll keep good on my word. And how do you intend to do all that? Call in to see if you could contact him to let him know I'm running a little late. You see, my phone battery is weak and I needed to call for roadside assistance. Oh, you jackass. Your fucking battery is running out and you haven't called roadside assistance for help yet. Well, uh, no. You see, I left my car in my other wallet. Well, I'd say that you, me, and this entire company are fucked, aren't we? Because of one colossal sized dickhead named Fart Puke. That's Art Duke. Oh, don't you dare correct me, you maggot filled son of a bitch. <sighs> Sorry. I don't care what it takes. You get your fucking ass to Jasperville and you sign that motherfucking boy, or else I am gonna personally piss all over you while you lie dying on a bed of nails while the ugliest 300-pound bastard I can find fucks you up the ass with his smelly, rancid cock! Hello? Hello, what was that last part? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? You got two seconds to explain what you're doing on my property. Uh, oh, hi. Um, my car broke down a few miles down the road. Uh, I'm looking for a phone. Ain't got no phone. Oh, okay. Well, could you tell me where the nearest town is then?
nearest town's about an hour north from here. My uncle can give you a ride, I suppose. Oh, great. Is your uncle here? Nope. Gone fishing. He'll be back, though. Uh, you mind if I wait here? Looks like you ain't got much choice. <sighs> I sure hope he ain't going for no chainsaw. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hmm. Sometimes, I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things, too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Will you show me? I'd be right happy to. I don't suppose it'd be fishing at this time of the day. Not likely. They're probably settling in for the night. What? Aren't they coming back here tonight? Doubtful. When they take off for a fishing trip, they're usually gone for about a week. A week? Well, when did they leave on this trip? A couple of mornings ago. You better get some shut-eye. Chores start at dawn. I'm not a morning person. You will be as long as you're a guest on my property. Everybody earns their keep here. Great. Up with the roosters, huh? Yep. Fixed a hay bed for you out there in the barn. There's some horse blankets in there for you to cover up. <sighs> a real five-star resort. Not then. The invitations have all gone out. Every asswipe reporter in Hollywood has accepted. I'm screwed. Listen, Nance, calm down. We have a few days to pull ourselves together here. A few days? I quoted our lead singer as being... <sighs> a rare find from America's heartland. Unscarred by society. A country boy with big city good looks. A newcomer with the voice of an angel. Now you tell me, where the fuck am I gonna find somebody like that? You found him. Arthur Duke will get to Jasper Ville and sign him. Just have some faith. Faith? Faith in a numb nut like fart puke? Schuster Records is on our ass to beat us to the punch with this kid, and douchebag Duke has dropped the ball. He dropped the ball! Nance? What do you always say? It's not over till it's over. I'm sure Art is back on the road and within minutes from Jasperville. I announced to the world that I had a new boy band. A boy band that would blow any other out of the water. And they expect to meet this new band at a party in five days. Five days. Yes, put it out of your mind. We've got the drummer right here. Ray and Chad are signing him as we speak. You see, things are moving along just fine. You'll have your band, with plenty of time to spare before the debut party you've arranged. I don't know. This plot of yours could blow up in our faces. You worry too much. He's too fucking hot not to try and score with. He's the best drummer that we auditioned. Nance is really sold on him. If we blow this and he walks, she's gonna fire both our asses. He's hungry. He's not gonna walk away from a sure thing like this. He better not, or we're fucked. When you send him in.
come on in and take a seat. I hope you didn't mind coming to my home for this meeting. No, not at all. Can I get you something to drink? I don't drink. Or to drugs. I suppose the next thing you're going to say is that you're a virgin. I am a virgin. I'm saving myself for the right girl. Why isn't she the lucky one? I think that's noble. And in my opinion, that gives you just the right character. You'll be perfect for the band. But unfortunately, I'm not the only one involved in the selection process. I don't understand. When I called to tell you you were chosen to be the drummer for the band, I, uh, well, I kind of spoke a bit prematurely. So nothing bad? Nobody's saying that. So what exactly are you saying? What we're saying is this goody-goody act won't cut it. Chad. We're saying the band needs a bad boy. You know what I mean by a bad boy? Why don't you tell me? A bad boy is someone who will give up his ass in order to land a job. And you can sleep at night knowing what you're making me do? I don't have a problem with it. No one's making you do anything. Like hell. It's how we get our kicks. Managing a band is a big yawn. That's right. We've got to pounce now before you get a big overpaid head on your shoulders. You know, I've read stories about you two in a tabloid. All true. Every last word. I guess you haven't been by the balls. Well then, I'd say we're ready to sign some contracts. Right after you drop to your knees, that is. You're the boss. We both are. And it's not good to keep the bosses waiting. Congratulations. You're officially part of the band. Welcome to the club, buddy. Let's get something straight. It was the first and the last time either one of you will ever touch my ass again. Are you clear? See you at rehearsal. Fucking bitch. They turn so quickly, don't they? You got that right. Nice piece of ass, though. <laughs> I'll say. Hey, looks like we have a fax. Dirty back stabbing shit eating cum guzzling. Calm down, Nance. Whatever it is, it'll be alright. Puss drinking, hemorrhoid licking, asshole sipping. Nance, you're scaring me. Skanky, rot you bricks! Oh, Nance, I'm sorry. They signed him. Fucking Schuster Records signed your boy. They've signed my death warrant. Everything, everything I've struggled to build has been ruined. Nance truly has been had by the competition. Oh. <laughs> oh. BMK. <sighs> Thank goodness, Richard. Nance, it's Richard on line two. I can't talk to him. I just can't. Oh. She's to records. They stole her voice. She's having a breakdown. What? I don't know. I'll ask her. Hey, Richard says Dan, one of the roofers working in his place, is a singer. Richard said his demo tape is awesome. I'll take the call. He's that good. 
He's that good. And he fits the bill. Unknown. From a small town. A blue collar type kid. So what? You want to audition him? Well, of course I want to hear him. I'm desperate. I need some time, though. Give him the office address and tell him to come by at 5. You see? Everything just might work out. Bullshit! I nearly just had a nervous breakdown! You weren't paying attention, were you? Get me a masseuse! I'm so tight, I feel like I've just been embalmed. Right away. my money. You're not gonna pull that one, are you? I'm serious. How much money did I lose to you guys? You're a shitty actor. I cough up the dough. Yeah, unless you want to take it out and trade. Well, where's Dan? He'll lend me the money. He's inside talking to the guy that owns the house. Well, when he comes back out, I'll pay you what I owe you. Bullshit. You're gonna make good in your bet right now. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Pay up your twenty dollar debt right now. I don't have it right now. You know I'm good for it. You better be good at it, buddy. Go on, clear your debt. Come on, give me my twenty dollars worth. What if the homeowner comes out? Now stick it in his mouth too. Get busy on it, man. It's better than paying him twenty bucks. in the house all that time. The owner set up an audition for me to perform in front of Nance Freely. The head of BMK Music? The very same. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Later, guys. Good night. Just what did you have to do to the owner to score that audition? Let's just say it didn't come cheap. Ew. It's not very good looking. They at least have a big deck. No pain, no gain. Sure hope Nance signs you to a contract. Me too. Do you know how hard it is to get an appointment with Nance? Yeah, I've heard. Well, see you tomorrow. Hey, do you still want me to pick you up tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Okay, I'll be by around 7. Night. Don't forget to put Judy Emerson on the invitation list. If we don't invite that to watch the band's coming out party, she's gonna rip the band to shreds when they release their first CD. Already put her on the list. What about Sal Carey? Screw him. That fat fuck will eat all the expensive caviar before the real guests arrive. Nobody reads his column anyway. Nance? If I might speak plainly, I think you're crazy to go ahead with this party without having your lead singer signed. I will not let Fart Puke make me a laughing stock. I'll have that band together in time for the party. Miss Freely, you're tensing up. You need to relax. Well, if I had a no-brainer job like yours, maybe I could relax. And what I tell you about speaking to me? You said not to unless you address me first. That's right, dipshit. And I'll shut your smelly hole. Do I need this act? I'll handle things. You relax and try to enjoy the massage. Uh, uh. Uh, one more thing. 
Your contractor called the office to say they were going home today. Something about an electrical union strike. Uh, I'll find... Go home on edge. Get them on the phone right now. And you, take a walk. But before you come back, put on some deodorant. You smell like a wet fart. Hello, this is Jack. Jack off? Just what in the fuck is this bit of information about you and your crew cutting off early today? The electrician's union is on strike. We can't proceed until the wiring is completed. Are you telling me that you're incapable of twisting a few fucking wires together? A licensed electrician knows how to do things to code. I don't. Oh. So you're telling me that you're not just a shitty contractor. You're also a fucking idiot. I'm sure you don't want the east wing of your house to burn down. No. I don't want that. But I do need that room completed. Do you expect me to hold next Saturday's party in an unfinished section of my home? Now how would that look? <sighs> the guys and I have been more than willing to do the wiring for you. I'm thrilled and extremely busy, so don't make me call you again. If you didn't have such a big dick, I would have fired you weeks ago. I'm waiting! What have you done? What do you call this? I cut a hole for the electrical box. It's round. So? So, haven't you ever seen an electrical box? It's rectangular. What, this won't work? The only thing this is going to work for is a glory hole. A glory hole? What's that? Where the hell did Jack find you, anyway? Santa Monica Boulevard. Figures. Well, you just go put your face up to that opening, and I'll show you what a glory hole is used for. Oh, glory hole. We have these in the sex shop on the boulevard. Well then, pretend you're on the boulevard and get hungry on my cock. That I know how to do. Art, I want you to meet my kin. This is my Uncle Mark. Howdy. Nice to meet you. And this here is little man Darren. Go on, shake his hand. Dang him, ornery little bugger. He's shy as a kitten, not used to being around strangers. So much you tell him I don't bite. Well, uh, I'll just grab my things so that you can drive me into town. Drive? I just drove for two days from that fishing hole. What's he talking about, Brad? His car broke down. I told him you'd give him a ride up to that town up north. Fuck that noise. I'm tired. I'm not driving anywhere. Well, then, can you drive me? Don't drive. Never have. You two need to work this out. I, I don't know what to say. I, I need to get to civilization. I need you to drive me. Please. I I'll pay you whatever you want. I don't need your money. Maybe in the morning. Yeah, Richard. It's Charlie. Nat Smith, that roofer. He's good. He's real good. He's not lead singer material. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I bet Dan was upset. Dan? No. His name was Chris. Now I'm confused. I gave Nance's office address to a guy named Dan. Chris, Dan, whatever. We're gonna change his name anyway. Wait a minute. I thought you said you didn't hire him. No, not for the lead. But Nance liked him so much, she decided to turn the trio into a quartet. Oh, well that's good. I'll keep my eyes and ears open for some new talent. I know she doesn't have a lot of time left before her big party. Okay, thanks Richard. Let me guess, they're not driving into town, are they? No, not until morning, I guess. If you're lucky. What do you mean by that? You'll find out. But if I were you, I'd take the keys from Mark and get myself out of here. 
How am I supposed to do that? He has him strapped to his belt. Well, anyway, there's a spare. Really? Can you show me? Sure, but after you show me what's inside those pants. Where's that music coming from? What the fuck? What are you doing in here? Did we escape? We? What are you talking about? You have to go home before your brothers find out you're missing. They're not my brothers. They're a couple of crazy fucks who have kept me prisoner ever since I can remember. What? What are you saying? I'm saying they're fucking lunatics who weren't going to let you go either. I can't believe this story you're telling me. It's macabre. Tell me about it. That song you were singing when I was driving, whose was it? It's mine. I wrote poems and songs in my spare time. And believe me, there was a lot of spare time on that psycho farm. When they weren't fucking me, that is. You can hold quite a tune. Who taught you how to sing? I taught myself. And not half bad either, if I must say so myself. No, not half bad at all. In fact, I think I've got an idea. Get in the passenger seat.
I would like to congratulate you on a job well done with that music video. It looks amazing. Well, thank you, Nance, for giving us all the chance to prove ourselves to you. Yeah, and for not firing me when you found out I screwed my friend out of an interview with you by stealing an access pass to BMK. Yeah, Nance, it all looks great, but next time we want all the musicians to be in the video. No, we don't. I don't have enough screen time as it is. I've got big plans for the four of you. So I want you to get some rest, okay? Because tomorrow morning we're going to be starting bright and early on completing that album. Well, you know us, Nance. Early to bed. Early to rise. Will make us healthy, wealthy, and oh so wise. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Go ahead, celebrate with each other. I'd rather have you fucking than fighting. Yeah, that's too. <laughs> Play it safe. Bye. Well, you pulled off another one. Of course I did. What? You had doubts? Never. Not for a second. Remember, a day without Nance Freely is like a day without music. Now get back to work. <laughs>